in the Kings Canyon and Sequoia National Park area. We left San Diego about seven hours ago. Pretty terrible drive through LA. It's Friday, traffic sucked, but we're up in the mountains now. We still have another 45 minutes or so. We'll get there, get set up, make some dinner, and looking forward to the trip. Just pulled up to camp, uh, threw some warmer clothes on. It was chilly already here. It's uh, 5.30. We're behind the mountain, so we're shaded. Got the tent up, and we'll get cooking before the sun goes down completely. Tonight's dinner is a stir fry on the Blackstone. So I'm gonna get this all diced up, and we'll get cooking. So I didn't uh, mention where we're staying. We're at uh, Sheep Creek inside Kings Canyon National Park. The last couple videos, we've been staying at official campgrounds, which is definitely not the norm. We normally like dispersed camping type stuff, but we've been hiking a lot lately and we wanna be in the national parks first thing in the morning to start hiking. So our easiest option for that is just staying at designated campgrounds inside the national parks. But once it's winter and we can go back to the hotter areas. We'll start doing dispersed camping again. We don't need to be in a national park during the winter. So yeah, we aren't just campground campers. I know the last couple videos have looked like that. We typically don't like it, but it's the easiest and most convenient. All right, everything's diced up. We pre-cooked the meat at home, didn't want to deal with all the grease here at camp. So I'm gonna start mixing this all together and get cooking. Brought a little pre-made jar that Kimmy made of soy sauce, ginger, beef broth, garlic. So I'm just gonna slowly drizzle this on here as it cooks. Got it all mixed together now, so the rest of the sauce. green onions. This Tabasco Sriracha is the best thing in the world if you haven't tried it. Tabasco Sriracha and some sesame seeds. Oh, it's brand new. All right, now some sesame seeds. So good. Such good camp food, especially when it's a little chilly out. I know I'm in a short sleeve, but I just haven't gotten my jacket yet. We came off like a two-week heat wave in Southern California, so it was in the 90s all the time. So being in the 60s and it's supposed to get down to the 40s tonight, I'm excited for it. Finished up dinner, did the dishes. Uh, we got camp all packed up other than the tent. We're up here now. We're going to watch a movie on the iPad. We're going to go hike early in the morning, so we're going to head out of here first thing. So yeah, we'll just watch the movie for a minute, go to sleep. See you guys in the morning.
Hey, good morning. Um, packed up camp early and headed out of there. There was nothing to really show you. We just put the tent down and left. Um, we're at the trailhead for Mist Falls. It's a little under nine miles. Um, it's about 8 a.m. So let's we'll see how this hike goes. There it is, Mist Falls, pretty awesome area. I'll show you around a little bit. It's uh, pretty unbelievable, you can't tell, but it's literally misting everywhere, which feels great after that couple hours of hiking. Made it to Mist Falls like you just saw. Um, All Trails app said it was about 5.4 miles in. A little bit longer than I thought, so five miles back out. We're starting that route now. And right when we got to Mist Falls, I got lit up by mosquitoes. So we had a quick snack and heading back. So we'll be back to the truck in a couple hours and find somewhere else to go. We just left the Kings Canyon portion of the park and we're kind of crossing into the Sequoia National Park. And this whole region is just burnt. All the trees in this whole valley are just destroyed. It's terrible. Some of you with the GFC ask what we sleep on. It's the Xped Mega Mat Duo. I have the XL GFC because I'm on a full size truck. So I have that couple extra inches. I think those of you with the standard size GFC on like the Tacoma size trucks, it's a tight fit. Um, but I plug this pump in, the hand pump in, and then I plug the air pump into this, I'll show you. So Xped wants you to have this little squishy foam pump and fill it up by hand like this which will take a little while so I hacked it and I do this Amazon little air mattress pump into the Xped pump which adapts it into the mattress there we go about a minute minute and a half of filling ready to go got a REI double down filled sleeping bag sleeping bags set out pillows maybe a eight minute six or eight minute ordeal to uh put this all together not too bad one last must have for the gfc is this fan keep some airflow moving around in here it's uh rechargeable with like your standard uh usb c or usb micro i forget the term um cheap on amazon works perfect been using it couple years now as you can see here I like my solar power stuff so uh, I've got four solar power lanterns little goal zero one here uh, this is another goal zero product with a floodlight on the back and a flashlight on the end but this whole top piece is a panel and it's charging my battery powered thermocell bug repellent all right you just got done checking out the visitor center got some patches a little blanket cruising around not doing any more hiking today, uh, so it's dinner time. We're gonna make a taco skillet, some bell pepper, avocado, jalapeno, some pre-chopped onion, some ground turkey, salsa, and some Kinder's taco blend uh, seasoning. So we'll get chopping on that stuff.
smells great, looks great, can't wait to have it. We make this all the time at home. Uh, we've only made it a couple times camping, but it's pretty easy. It's just a one pot type thing. And that's why I hate campgrounds and try to never stay in them. It's been ridiculous tonight. The music was insane a few minutes ago, but I couldn't record it because YouTube would have copyrighted it. But you got that fine gem of a birthday song at nine o'clock at night. Hey, good morning. We woke up, quickly packed up again, got out of that mess of a campground. It was a lodge pole, nice place, but just so packed. Um, but the perk of being there was we went five minutes down the road and now we're at the Sherman Tree Trail. So we're going to go check that out. We're here early since we didn't hang out at camp. So there's maybe only 20 or 30 cars here. So let's go check out these trees. Something we just learned on here is during one of the fires, they wrapped fire blankets around the base of General Sherman to save it. Just wrapped up that little General Sherman uh, trail hike, which was really cool, massive tree. But as we're leaving, we found this little offshoot off the road. There's four or five equally as big trees that are super cool. So I'm taking a few photos of them uh, and we're only 50 feet from the road. There's nobody here, which is obviously the best scenario. This one got burnt however many years ago but it's still totally alive pretty unbelievable how huge these are next stop on our list today is Moro Rock there behind me there's a set of stairs we're gonna go start that climb at the trailhead Here at the top of Mora Rock. It's pretty high, so if you don't like heights, this might not be for you, but the stair climb up was uh, pretty fun. It's worth the hike. Just grilling up some hot dogs and brats at Crescent Meadows, doing a quick lunch break before we check out another spot. We're walking a offshoot from the Crescent Meadows Trail. There's not a soul out here. It's super quiet. You just come across this massive sequoia. The base of it's probably 20 feet across. For size reference, there's my wife standing in front of the trunk. It's probably actually like 30 feet wide. It's so massive. Some of the signs said these are 2,200 to 3,200 years old. This one had burnt at some point, but it's still alive. It's totally green at the top. This is one of the coolest things we've come across. This is a massive down tree, got turned into a cabin. It's Tharp's log, if that's how you pronounce it. You've got a window on the outside, a little smokestack for, I'm assuming, a wood-burning type stove on the inside. It's kind of barricaded off so people don't go in and destroy it, because of course they will. But there's a, I'm assuming a bed back there in the distance. Eating area. Can't really see it, but this is the stove down here. 
the window. And this is just a hollowed out, I'm assuming it's probably hollowed out from a fire. Hollowed out tree trunk. All right, I think we're getting all wrapped up with this trip. We were gonna stay another day. We have one more night of reservation at that same campground that was terrible, and then do some more hiking tomorrow in the morning. But apparently I'm getting old and fragile. I overdid it and uh, my hip flexor muscle is pretty worn out from the couple days. So we headed down the mountain. We were gonna see if we could find something down here, public land area to camp for the night and then drive home in the morning still. But I'm not finding much right here. But we're only four hours from home. So it's Sunday evening. It's about 4.30, four hours from home. I think I'll just grab a coffee and, and power home. Uh, we were just going to wake up tomorrow morning and drive home anyway. So thanks for checking out the trip. We had a lot of fun. We'll certainly be back to hike the rest of the area that I was too broken to finish up. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Check us out on Instagram and see you on the next one. <laughs>